o'clock. Thanks for still staying with us here on the AM show on Joe News. You know, now you can no uh, lo longer apply manually for your passport as the foreign ministry uh, has seized all such applications. So the ministry says we should all use the online application process to get our passports. Today on the show, we'll tell you all you need to know about this process, including a practical step-by-step process. Uh, approach to doing this. My guest is a director at Accra Passport Application Office. Mr. Pipra Amprichum is here and he will be helping us. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you, for, thank you for being here. First of all, I want us to go through uh, the release that came from the ministry. Here we go. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration wishes to inform the general public and passport applicants that online passport application is now available at all passport application centers. Consequently, the manual passport application platform will cease to operate from March 1st, 2020. Passport applicants are advised to use the online passport application platform, which is passport.mfa.gov.gh, to submit their applications. The measure will enhance service delivery to the Ghanaian public. The ministry counts on the usual cooperation of passport applicants. So two things. One is for you uh, to try this process and let me know how it goes. That's the only way we can give them um, feedback on this process absolutely important. Uh, so, Ms. Amprichum, it means that from today you don't fill any paper application? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. So you just have to go online? You just have and to use go the passport.mfa.gov.gh. Yes. All right. So here's something that I tried um, off air before we got on air. I tried to create, uh, to go to the website, but I realized, can we just go down a bit? I realized that you can't just go to the website and start the process. You need an account. Please explain. Yes. So what we have done is that you create an account, and then um, after you've made the payment, then the form will be dropped into your account, and then you, you go on to complete the form. Okay. So I, I had to go to um, register, because on, yes. the, on the top right corner, when you open the page, you would see register or login. login. Because I've created an account, you don't That's see right. the register, you see my name, but it yes. only says log out because I'm logged in. Mm -hmm. So once you come here, if I was applying, what would I do next? Okay, so you would choose the kind of um, You are not going you to want. apply first. You're not going here first. This is how to apply. You start okay. an application, you would have to pay for it. But you need to know what exactly you want. Okay, all right. So, so let's go up. Yes, so we have, we have also introduced the... 48-page uh, passport booklet for frequent travelers. So you know which one you want, mm -hmm. whether you want this 32-page, um, whether you want a standard application or express, or you want 48 pages standard application or they express. They will all expire at the same time, which is 10 years. Of course, 10 years. Okay. The 48 page is just for frequent travelers. Okay. Right. So then you go to the... You, you go, go back to the, to the top? top? Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the top. So start a new application. Can we start new application? So this is after you familiarize yourself with the different passport types. Yes. Okay. And then you come here. Yes. And so here um, you're supposed to make payments. Um, some people go to the banks to buy voucher codes. So you can input that uh, downwards or you can do the payments by... Any of but, these means? Yes. Okay. And then you verify. Yes. Once you make payment, is it um, instant? Does it automatically come back to say you've made payment so you can then go ahead and apply? Yes, the verification is um, with third parties, so it takes quite a bit of time, maximum 10 minutes. Okay. Then you would have had the feedback. Okay. And then you continue? Yes. So where do we go after that? So then uh, you go to... We go back? Yes, you go back oh, you go to, to my your applications, applications my right. applications. Let's go to my applications then. All right. And then? So you would have seen uncompleted applications. Obviously, so because have, we didn't go yes, through the entire yes, process. Yes. Okay. So then you'd have had the form there, and then you go through it. Mm. And then you just submit. Yes, you submit online. And yeah. then what happens? And then you will, um, at the opening of the page, you have all the requirements, all the required documents that should uh, accompany an application. Therefore, you bring, you bring those ones together. You need to print 
you need to print the application. What Once you, you submit, submitted, yes. you need to print it. Yes, there's a printout page, and then you bring that one together with um, the documents to the passport. Office. So what it is asking you to attach, you don't send it online. You have no. to physically take it to the office. Yes, you have to physically take it to the office. There's, okay. a barcode, there's a barcode on it that um, we, we need to use. And then you also have to come for what we call the vetting. So you print the forms. Ghana, we haven't got into the stage where we have uh, digital signatures. So you need to print the form and sign. And then the witness would also have to sign and stamp. Oh, before you scan and then send? No, you don't scan again. Okay. Once, once it's printed, you sign these ones and then you come uh, with it to the passport application Okay, but center. how do I know when to go to the passport office? Right, so when you submit the application, you have to make a choice between uh, uh, wherever you want to go. Mm -hmm. Which um, is? Which is the passport application centers. We, in Accra, we have uh, one at the Tema station. We have the premium center. You pay extra to, to use their facilities. And then we have one at the Tema. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have one at Tema. So you choose whichever is closer to you. And if you want uh, more convenience, you can choose the digital center or the okay. premium. And the other regions, because we're, we, you know, our broadcast goes to the okay. entire country. So if somebody is in Takrade, for instance, or so, if they are in Kumasi. So Takrade, we have a passport application center there. You can you choose that one. Um, it's only the older regions that we have. It's only Central, Upper West, and Upper East that we don't have offices currently, okay. but um, we'll be opening the offices very soon in those regions. Okay. Now, if you say online application, why do I have to then physically go to your office, any of your offices? Because we need to take your biometrics, and then also we need to take you through a certain verification. The information that you have provided, we need to make sure that you are who you say you are. And then there are some people that um, are on what we call the stop list. Some people who cannot get Ghana passports because of one reason or the other. Right. So you need to come there for the immigration officers and the national security officers to go to take you through the screening. And then afterwards, then you take your biometrics. OK. So uh, do we have people? Can somebody do this for me? Can somebody do this on my behalf? Yes. Yes, somebody can do it for you. In fact, um, what we have done so far is that um, one, one uh, registration can apply for five passports in a year. Okay. So let's say there's a family, and then the father can decide to do the application for everybody else so that they have all the information in one account. Mm. Yes. Okay. But you know, the reason I'm also asking is because of the middle, the middle men, the middle people, the people who tend to do it, not because they are related, but simply because they want to take a fee and do for other people. So the system is such that uh, you can even do it on your mobile phone. Okay. You have a smartphone. So if you have a relative who you think that you are not that tech savvy and you want a relative to help you, you can rely on the relative. In fact, we encourage people to rely on uh, relatives and to go through middlemen. However, if you do not have anyone to help you like that, you can go through an internet cafe or something and then get assistance there. Okay, but can I also come to the passport office? I don't know how to use all these things that you're talking about, these sophisticated uh, uh, register and login and that kind of thing, but I need a passport. Um, currently, we do not have any, any system like that at the front end. So uh, maybe in future we would have this, but now we don't. So we encourage people to use the existing internet um, cafes. Mm. How soon would I get an appointment? Should I apply? It depends on the center you choose. I think that um, the Greater Accra Passport Application Center is a preferred place for many people. Mm -hmm. And so um, you wait quite a bit if you choose the Greater Accra Passport Application Center. If you choose Which the, is where you are? Yes. The Tema Station? Yes. OK, why mm -hmm. do you say you wait a bit? Mm -hmm. Because the appointments, the, we, we have um, limitations. You know, so uh, we can take so many people in a day. Mm. So um, if you come in and uh, it's full, it's full. Okay. But we're looking at expanding it such that uh, people, more people can come in. But we encourage people to use the other facilities around. Okay. So the point is you can only make your way to the passport office, any of the offices, with appointment. Yes. If you don't have any appointment, you can't be you there. You cannot. You cannot come there. Mm. So you, with your appointment date and time, 
then you come in there. Okay. So say I started applying, I started the process when you had not changed to the strict online from the mm -hmm. 1st of March. Mm -hmm. um, what will happen to my application? So I did the manual application and now you've changed. So those who have made payments now, um, at the back end it's still opened so that we can um, validate this and then let you go through that, uh, the process. So if you have paid already, mm -hmm. uh, there's no cause for alarm. Within this month of March, just come to any of our offices with your Do manual forms. Do such people also have appointment dates? No, they don't. So they just have to walk in? They just have to walk in. Okay. What's the guarantee that you take care of them? Because if somebody mm -hmm. applied, say, yesterday and mm -hmm. has a date, mm -hmm. and I did the manual and I don't have a date, what's the protocol? So what we have done is that um, now we have not, for the appointments, it's not to our full capacity. So let's say Greater Accra Park, we could take, say, 600. Now um, you cannot apply, for, say, uh, 600 people will not get appointments on the same day. We have limited it such that we can take care of uh, the remnants of those who have done their manual, the manual. Okay, so what if you're renewing the passport? It's the same process. The same The same process, register you again. register again and then um, bring the documents mm. to our offices. Okay. Maybe going forward, um, we may change this, but as of now, this is what we have. Okay. So right now, if I come to where you are, which is the Tema Station, I know yes. many people come there. Typically, mm -hmm. how, how is the place looking like now with the so, change? So now we, have, we still have two sessions, the online session and the manual session. So we will just be directed to the online session if it's your appointment time. If you are one hour earlier, um, yes. But if you are coming in two hours earlier, we have to wait because we don't have the space. If have I have an outside. appointment for 9 a.m. Yes. And I come in 9.30, what happens? That's okay. That's oh, okay. you can accommodate that? Yes. But if you come in after 10, you have to go and rebook. Oh. So one hour, plus or minus one hour, we can take care of you. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just, listen, we're all excited that the passport office is doing this. But there's still a lot of questions. Uh, because we're not so sure if this is us you've you know taken us through the process does it work like that does it so if, if i came with a 9 a.m appointment and i got there right on time what time will i leave the passport office between 30 to 40 minutes we are for real yes we are trying to reduce this we are trying to reduce the waiting time okay because we know people are busy doing other stuff, so if you need to apply for a passport, mm. you don't have to come and spend the whole day there. Okay. Listen, I, if you're watching us, I want to give you the opportunity, if you've got questions, something that I, I haven't asked, you can give us a call now and put that question through. But it has to be real quick. Give us a call, 0302 or 0302-211-6910. Oh, Eric is already on the line. Good morning, Eric. Eric, yeah. Eric from Pediasi. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks for joining us. Let's hear your question. Thank you. Yeah. Please, Mama V, kindly ask him for me if I have a five-year or five-year duration passport and I want to come for the 10-year one, what will be the process like? Okay, but is your passport expired? Not yet. Okay, so how many years do you have? I'm left with about three years. Okay, but you still want to change it now? Yes. Over to you. Well, um, nothing stops you to come there and say you want a 10-year passport. But uh, we advise people to wait till the expiration of their passport. Who knows? Maybe in, in the next year or in the next two years, we might, um, as it were, improve the passport that we have. Mm. And so if you come and change it now, and then in the next year or two, we improve our passport, then you come and change again. Mm. We can just use your five-year passport. When it expires, then you come and change it. Okay. Mm. Eric, let me tell you something that he can't say because we're on air. They will take your money if you want to do it. <laughs> so it's up to you. Uh, Al Hassan is in Tamale. Al Hassan, good morning. Good morning. Yes, Al Hassan. Thanks for joining us. If you've got a question, let's hear it. Um, the question is that I, 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 I paid for a passport application, I think, about two years ago, but I just didn't get the time to send it to the passport you, office. You, you paid for it two years ago, you say? Yes, I paid for it. I steal it, but uh, I wasn't just able to make time to send it. Okay, what so, does it mean? You presented it, but you didn't do the follow-ups? No, I, 
I went for the form. Okay. I feel it, but what me to send it to the office? So you still have the forms? I still have the form. Uh, okay. okay, just so hold on. Don't what, hang up. What yes. is the what chance happened? for me okay. with this your new online thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's two years ago, then um, he's lost the money. Oh, what's the cash? That's it. You have to start again. Because we changed the system. We changed the system to payment via mobile money and all of that. I'm sure he bought the form from the bank. Oh, we, okay. we stopped using those forms long ago. All right. I'm sorry, Al Hassan. That's, that's it. You have to uh, start the process again. Gideon is in Kaswa. Good morning, Gideon. Good morning. Yes, Gideon. Uh, I, uh, actually, I don't have a question to ask, but I just want to uh, compliment this system because I've used it several times. Oh, okay. For myself, for my cousins and siblings, etc. And you got it in, uh, in good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It was very, it was very fun because uh, unlike the former way of doing uh, applying for a passport, with this, when you book the date, when you book the date for appointment, you don't have to. Uh, you just have to get there on time. Okay. Okay. You well. go there, they process you within uh, 35 to 40 minutes. You are out of the place, okay. and you receive a text that this day you have to come for your passport. So I think it's a very good system. And Great. it's going to take the middlemen away from whatever that they've been doing. Nice. Yes. All right. I like that, Gideon. Thank you. Because some of us still had doubts. But for you to call and tell us this, that's a good thing. Daniel in a, is in Ashaman. Hello, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Daniel. Let's hear you. Okay. Uh, assuming you, you apply for the online passport, and then uh, the passport go expire, but you are not in the country. How can you you reapply again? Do you have to come back to Ghana and and present yourself, or you can you can be where you are and reapply? Good because question. Because you know, your, your details are in the system already. Mm, okay. All right. Let's keep that question. Let's speak to Apia. Apia is in Doma. Yes, please. Good morning, Mavi. Good morning, Apia. You're good. Yeah. I'm okay. Good. Nice. Let's hear you. My younger brother applied for a passport using the old system. And when the time they gave to him was due, we went, he went for it. And instead of them giving him the passport, he was told the passport is missing at their office. Okay. So he had to go and make a police report. Bring the report to the passport office. He came and they told him, looking at the serial number, they told him that they have seen it, but certain things are not well on the passport, so you have to go and come back. In Bronga Hapo, sorry, in Bronga region, you will have to go to Sunyai. So look at the transportation there mm. is going mm. to Sunyai and coming back. Mm. And because of that, for about this two to three months, we have not gone to follow up again. Mm. So how do we get this passport? Okay. We went, made the police report, sent it, they said the report will not be needed. He should go and come back later for them mm. to rectify whatever they have on. And so how he will help. Yeah. Well, thanks for that question, uh, and I want you to react to those two questions. Maybe the first one. First, uh, if you've applied, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have your passport and you're not in the country, must you physically come since you have online? Uh, absolutely not. So we have um, the Ghana mission spread all over. So all he has to do is to go to the um, corresponding Ghana mission. Let's okay. say if you are in the UK, you just go to our mission in London, and then we'll take care of you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, the second one uh, about the about passport. This one. Now, there are so many things that I want to say right now. If the thing is in your care and you can't find it, how do you ask me to go and lodge a complaint at the um, police station? But so, I don't even know why anybody would tell him that. Because if we have not delivered the passport to you, it's still our responsibility to get you the passport. Mm -hmm. So, once it is, it is declared missing by them, they have to try as much as possible to see the person in charge there. Ask to see the director there. They are accessible all the time. So ask to see the director. Are they and really? they will yes. Okay. Yes. In fact, most of our of our offices is just kind of open. Mm. It's just kind of open space. You can see them. Easily. I'll let you finish this one because we're not done. Mm -hmm. uh, let me speak to Nicholas. Nicholas is in my hand. That's my last call. Nicholas, good morning. Thank you for holding. Good morning, Margie. Yes, great. I thought I had lost you. Good morning. Let's hear you, please. Hello, Nicholas. Yes, I'm here. My Please question go is, ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my question is, I wanted to find out if they you are going to do the online um, registration. Uh, yeah, hello, Nicholas. We can hear you. Go on. I'm first one. My question: They said you are doing uh, online registration. 
Okay. Nicholas, I, I, there are some breaks uh -huh. in that. I already I can... have my tissues in their system, so do I have to follow the same procedure to re register again? Okay, mm -hmm. did, you get, did you get a question? Yeah, okay, guess. Nicholas, thank you. You got your question, so that's good. Yes. So I guess his question is, is about um, reapplying, mm. you know, or renewing your passport. Mm. Yes, you still have to go through it. When you are completing the forms, you select whether it's a renewal or it's a fresh application. So each time, thing. once you're here in Ghana and you're not outside and you are renewing, mm -hmm. you have to always go online. Yes. And then do the whole application again, but you have to indicate that it's a renewal. Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, those outside, um, says that now we don't have a one application platform for those outside. But most of our missions, you also go online. So it, it depends on where you are. Mm. Most places you go online and book appointment to get there. Okay. Right. So our friend from Doma, Ahinkro, mm -hmm. with where the thing has got into, how do they resolve it? I advise him to just go back to the office and ask to see the director. Because if the passport had not been delivered to him, it is still our responsibility to deliver the passport. But if they so say they've now found it, but you know it's not entirely complete. I don't know what that Still means, delaying. actually. I don't know what so that I, means. I guess so my, my question is, if you're dissatisfied with a service from a particular location, where do you go from there? Okay. So um, you can, if you, if you think that you cannot uh, have access to the director there, mm -hmm. um, you can call. Okay. You what can number? call. No, it's okay. Um, you can retrieve okay, the number. So, so this is, is this a toll free or something like that? Or this is to a specific uh, desk? It's to a specific desk. Great. Mm. Is to a specific desk. All right. And uh, so, if, you, if you're just joining us, what you have missed, and you've missed a lot because we've taken you through the the process of applying for a passport. Because effective first March 2020, uh, the Passport Office, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, essentially uh, uh, has made away with the manual process, and you have to do it online. And we're just trying to take our viewers through the process. And uh, you know, Ms. Amprichum here from the Passport Office has been helping us. And we also activate the phone line, so some of you ask questions right now. This is the very last thing that we're talking about before yes. we go. If you don't get satisfied service from any of the places around the country, what do you do? Let's hear the okay. number. Right, so you can call 030-299-9604. 030-299-9604. Or 030-273-8473. Okay. And then also, this is between 8 and 5 p.m. to call these numbers. Okay. Right. Besides that, um, you, can, you can actually chat. You can actually chat oh, on the page. in real time. Uh, on, on, in real time, there's somebody to chat yes. with here. Yes. Okay. And then there's a number, too, you can call in case mm. you are completing the application and you are, you are having difficulty. Okay. I'm just Thank looking you. for the, Thank you. the point. Uh, okay. Can we click here? Need help or something? Yes. I think that's what they have there. No? Okay, listen, this is all new for, for some of us as well. So I guess we have yes. to keep exploring. We have to keep exploring. Write a message. So this is it. If you, yes. if you wrote a message, somebody yes. will respond somebody to you. Somebody will respond to oh, you. Oh, okay, great. Or well, there's a phone number there mm. you can also call. Okay. All right, let's keep exploring. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being here and taking us through the process. Let us know how it goes. Um, if you've been using this, we want to know how it goes.